Recently, the robotics team went to their state competition. I talked to some members to see what it's all about. Basically, at states, um, for like the first few matches, we were doing okay, but not entirely our fault, but we didn't finish the, um, our lifting systems to go to level two for our end game. At the end of the game, we have to lift our robot up onto a platform, and it's worth a certain amount of points. And it's really important to the game, but we could not finish it in time, so it cost us a lot of points. WB ended up beating 402 teams, placing in the top half in the state. Our record was 6-6, um, six to six, um, win to loss, no ties. Um, and then we were going to be, we, we were hoping to get picked during the alliance selection phase. We didn't. Um, if we were, we would have been, our chance of going to, to Worlds would have been, in, would have increased uh, by a very large degree. There's three main divisions, so there's programming, building, or designing. Um, programming, for example, they, uh, during first, use um, Java. Um, designing, use CAD or computer-aided design to plan the robot. And then a build team receives those instructions, and once design is done in the parts order, they begin to build. They familiarize themselves with, uh, with the systems and then they tell the coders what, what they need to be put on. This is the first time the team has made it to states. I didn't really expect to make it to states. Uh, it is my first year here, so when they, sold, they said that it was the first time they made it to states, I don't think that was quite impacted as they were because, you know, it's my first year. Getting to states was definitely an achievement because, you know, we've been on this team, I've been on this team for three years and a lot of the other members have as well, and not in the entire history of our team have we ever made it to states. Congratulations to the West Bloomfield Robotics team. I'm a hug reporting for the Laker Update.